Our latest final, the men's 100 metres T13, and it's the penultimate final on the track tonight. Going in this, the twice former world champion Matthias Michowski of Poland and the reigning European champion from Bulgaria, Radoslav Zlatanov. Another well, good candidate, Andrei Kuzmin of Russia, who's a really world champion. Zach Shaw from Britain. So, Jakub Nikporn of Poland is in lane one. It's his first major championship, the 18-year-old from a good athletics town of Chechen. Lane two from Turkey. He's also a futsal player in the main league in Turkey. The uh, small football pitches, Hakan Kira, 10th of the 200 metres in Doha. Alexi Lapsin, very successful in terms of the relay. He's won gold medals in the last five major championships. Gold in the one and two in 2011 in the Worlds in Christchurch. And the man twice world champion previously in the one and the two. Matthias Michowski of Poland. Philip Handler of Switzerland, the American-born bronze in the Euros last time in Swansea. Silver in the one in the Netherlands in 2012. Radoslav Zlatanov is the reigning European champion in this. Also a good long jumper. Zach Shaw from Grimsby. They're making films about there these days. Sixth in the 100 and 200 in Doha at the World Championships back in October. And that's where Andrei Kuzmin of Russia finished in fourth place in the 100 metres final. He finished sixth in the last European 100s two years ago and was involved in that relay gold in Doha. And he's still only 21. So two from Russia, two from Poland, one each from Turkey, Switzerland, Bulgaria and Britain. Michowski in four. Previously, the double world champion won his semi-final, as did Zlatanov, reigning European champion. So Nick Pon, Kira, Lamsin, Mikowski, Handler, Zlatanov, Shaw, Kuzmi. <laughs> and we're not away. There may be a red coming. Well, whether it's a false start or a faulty start remains to be decided by the judge, by the starter. If it's given as a clear false start, then the red card could be imminent. You can form your own opinion. We don't like to preempt it. Looked like a wobble, didn't it, two. in lane two? Yeah. Hakan Sierra. It's wobbling on the blocks. Picked up by the computer. Will it go down as a faulty start? The judge is walking across. And lane six and five, four and three. Actually, he's gone past them all. <laughs> that's OK. That's good news for now, for lane two. Might just be the green warning. Yes, it will be. Or the yellow warning, rather. Well, maybe a little bit fortunate, eh? That's the benefit of the doubt, if ever it was, for Hakan Sira, who remains in this final. You don't like seeing people disqualified, though, in major finals, do you? I'm, I'm, if there's any doubt, you like to see it go that way. And it's good that they've given the discretion this time. So Mahowski in four, Zlatanov in six, Handler in the middle for Switzerland, a prime candidate in five as well. Labsin and Kuzmin, excellent in relays. Labsin being a, a former world champion over 100 metres. Mikowski also. This could be wide open. Set. Away the second time of action. Great start in three from Labsin. He's flying at the moment, and so too is the Bulgarian Slatinov, who's going very well. And Mikowski in lane four. Here comes Mikowski in four. Slatinov in six. It's between these two. And the Paul Mikowski's got it with Slatinov in second place. 10 99. It was a slender margin of victory. He had to defend his base really well, and he did brilliantly. Labsin, fantastic 
away out of the blocks in lane three. Season's best 1098. That was terrific stuff. What a great race that was. Terrific start from Zlatanov, the Bulgarian. Look at him going in lane six. His pickup was terrific. Didn't look as though his reaction was electric, but by goodness, once he got into the upright position and started running, it was only here that Michalski starts to look really strong, and it was a real battle right the way to the line. And well, what a close, what a close finish. Four hundredths of a second behind them. And only 0.1 of a second back to the Swiss Philip Handler in third place. Great race. And in the slipstream, Handler in the middle was brought along by the men on either side of him. Only four hundredths of a second between them as well. That was a cracking race. We've seen some special races today, and there was another one. More medal ceremonies coming before too long. The long jump competition also continuing, and we'll bring you the best of that, of course. And more settled, more medal ceremonies coming up, and here's your results. So Matthias Michalski of Poland is the European champion, 10.98, with Zlatanov of Bulgaria, the silver, and Philip Handler of Switzerland, the bronze. Labson and Kuzmin, fourth and fifth for Russia.